This is a Wedgehead, a single player pinball machine with lots of character, made in the 1960s by the biggest pinball manufacturer of the era, Gottlieb. Wedgehead pinball machines get their name from the shape of their back box. Ever since the invention of the flipper in 1947, players had been complaining that locations would have their pinball machines standing too close to each other, leaving no room to press the flipper buttons. The Wedgehead back box design, introduced in 1960 and used until 1979, guaranteed that the player had enough room to comfortably play the game. It also gives this generation of machines their very distinctive look. The playfield and rules of the first and most famous Wedgehead games were designed by legendary game designer Wayne Nyans, who only created symmetrical playfield designs. The artwork on the playfield and back glass of these early Wedgeheads is known for having lots of light-hearted humor in it. Some jokes are obvious and some are less obvious. This is to the credit of visual artist Roy Parker. And to add to the attraction, some machines even had a back glass animation to lure the player in. Lots of features that are standard in today's pinball machines were first seen in the Wedgehead era. One of these features is the addable feature, or in more recent pinball terminology, the extra ball. An additional ball to be played during that same game. The concept was created as an alternative to winning free games, which was illegal in several American states and in Italy. You can recognize an addable wedge head by this balls to play feature in the bottom of the back class. Another invention that pinball players take for granted nowadays is the bonus feature. This lets the player build up points during gameplay that he will earn after the ball is lost. This was seen first under the name Advances in 1963's Gigi. But however tone-setting Gottlieb was in some regards, they were not ahead in all aspects of the game. One of the features that was already quite old-fashioned in the mid-60s is the manual ball lift. While other manufacturers had an automatic way of getting the ball to the shooter for years, Gottlieb only got rid of their manual one in 1967. Nowadays, it only adds to the charm of these beautiful machines. <laughs>